gentlemen. Our last piece. Please go with us in this last piece. What you've seen so far has been out there. This one goes further. Follow us, the Star. Let's enjoy it. Let's do it. Have fun. Oh, before we go, yeah. we want to ask one last question to you all. We want to ask, what is the half-life of history? <laughs> Tonight, we poets, we performers. We, the keepers of our culture come before you at this very witching time of night. While others are afraid, locked up in their houses. While the undead wolves of fear are howling into the night. While the reckless spirits of violence are possessing the people. We come before you to tell you our story, our history. Tonight's memory, memory collides, collides with science, collides with history, and, and we, we tell a tale of nuclear fission. The story of an atom dividing into two parts and the energy it releases. Of nuclear fusion. The story of atoms fusing together to form a single entity and the energy that is generated. We tell the tale of, of a land. 62 years after independence, magnetized by violence, polarized by pre-apocalyptic politics. We, we tell, tell the tale of <laughs> the Atomic Kid. The story of a young boy who ran away from home got lost in the forest, was let out by an unlikely guide, and discovered that there's no place like home. <laughs> that there's no place like home. That there's no, no place, place like, like home. home. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named the Atomic Kid. Named so because he was made of atoms. Who ran away from home <laughs> with nothing but the clothes on his back, most notably a Black Queen t-shirt with rock god Freddie Mercury shouting out in big, bold, bright colors, We are the champions, my friend. Ba, 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 ba. And we'll keep on fighting to the end. Ba, 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 ba. We are the champions. We he had been sent up to his champions. room for Cremate history's most 
radioactive memories. I make sure that the wolves of fear don't dig up the poisonous past, and in my spare time, I work on my Sudoku. Oh. <laughs> any of the songs of past dream. Oh, for your sake, I hope so. With time, the toxic corpses of the past will decay, losing some of their radioactivity. But what is the half-life of history? How long before these ghosts of the past will leave us? I'm thirsty. Get me to eat anything. Drink, I'm thirsty. Thirsty? Yes. Oh, well, then follow me. The grave digger led the atomic boy to an old abandoned well. He pulled back the thick cover and said, Look deeply into this well, past the bones. And, <laughs> and the young boy looked into the well and saw himself. <sighs> On a playground, Josh Doherty pushes me forward to fight Mani Ferrani from Karachi. But, but also, the most popular kid at school. <laughs> Money looks at me and laughs. And he, he thinks I'm joking. <laughs> I am the class clown. But when he turns around, I dive at his ankles and I flip him over. Josh Doherty, having lost the dare, disappears into a crowd that's shedding, fight, 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 fight. But Money's temple is bleeding. There is sand in his wound. And though he doesn't hit me here, he promises he will retaliate. Well. Next day, my dad tells me that Monty's mom is on the phone. Hey, what is this, huh? <laughs> what is this? You're talking to what is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I manufacture a tale of Monty stealing my lunch money. Hey, you took your lunch, huh? You took your lunch. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. hello. I can hear the Titans hello. arguing, shouting, tearing each other's nationalities. Hello, Pakistan is always making the pizza. <laughs> I beat Monty at his own game. Too potent? He deserved it. He told on me. Still hungry? Yes. Well, then come with me. They walked further, past the forest and into the mountains, climbing higher and higher into the sky. Where are you taking me? The truth of Atom is the truth of people. All are bound tightly together, but when torn apart, the results are unpredictable. Destroying Delhi or powering Islamabad? They continued walking until finally the grave digger stopped at a peak overlooking a valley. He pulled back the thick brush and said, Eat. A picnic in a lush valley, the highest place a family can live. A nuclear family returns from a walk to find that their camp has been ravaged by a forgotten wolf. Accusations begin, fingers pointing out carelessness. You did it! Now the son is grabbing the daughter's hair. The father tugs on the mother's patience. The picnic dissolves into disorder. And now the father is setting up camp in the caves. And, and now the mother is, mother is turning wood into weapons. And now the children are mining uranium from the grass. The grave digger points and says, Look at them. They work separately, but they build together. They require each other to innovate, but no one can recognize the claw marks of the forgotten wolf. The kid cringes, and just before this nuclear family can detonate, the gravedigger pulls him away, saying, You won't like what happens next. <laughs>